so I finally decided to install a CB in my truck. But all the truck bed antenna mounts seem to interfere with my trifold bed cover. I've been toying with the idea of a custom mount, so let's see what we can come up with here. The idea is to get a bracket of some sort mounted behind the bed, a little off to the driver's side. I don't want it taking up a lot of space in the rear view. I purchased this fire stick mount a few months back, but with the bed cover, I didn't find anywhere suitable for installation. However, I'm going to use this with the new bracket. Before I get too far down, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss my next crazy project. And be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of it, and if you've tried something like this before. Okay, back to it. The hardest part about this project is going to be the clearance between the bed and the cab here. I'll use this second recess to mount my bracket, and for that, we need some bar stock. Now, full disclosure here, I tend to go at my projects full out, and I don't take a ton of time to precisely measure every little thing. I know I should, and it will drive some people crazy, but to me, that's half the fun. I'm figuring that the stock will need to be around 23 inches in order to secure it across the full depth of that recess in the bed and still stick up about 7 inches or so. I made two marks just in case I need to correct and make it shorter. Let's make a cut. Perfect. Now let's drill some holes in the bed. About an inch away from the upper and lower should do. And now I'll just hold the bar in place and make some marks with a sharpie. Punch the marks, then drill. Now for some hardware. This is why we don't throw everything away, people. Bolts especially. I know I have some stuff in there that I'll probably never need again, but today I had everything for this project. I call that a win. Alright, so as I mentioned, clearance between the cab and the bed is tight. I have my longest 13mm here, and it's a flex head, so I'm going to first tape up the flex so it's a little more rigid. Next I'll put some electrical tape on the nut and push it into the wrench. This will keep it secure enough to get it started without using fingers. I've got the bar in place, the upper bolt through and holding the stock. Whoops. And now I'll use that long wrench to get the nut secure. I'll do the same for the lower bolt. I've got it on there now and at this point any metal workers will probably want to look away because I'm just going to try and fold the bar away from the cab. I'll put my leg against the bed to keep it from flexing so that the bar will start to bend. And bend it did. I'm not too worried about the look of this curve, as this is just a proof of concept at this point. If it really bothers me in the future, I'll make another bracket and use a metal brake to get a nice crease and angle. But for now, we're good. Next up, I'm going to place the fire stick bracket on the edge and make some marks for the mounting location. Off to punch and drill four more times. At this point, the holes have been drilled and I've painted it black. While I wait for the paint to dry, I'm going to start mounting the CB radio itself. I've got this mounting kit off Amazon. It was pretty cheap and includes what you need for most setups. As you can see here, my center jump seat has been removed and I custom made a subwoofer box in its place. I'm going to secure the CB right to the front of it. There we go. And now for the CB. Line up the side threads and install the thumb screws. Looking good? Let's run the antenna cable. My truck already had a hole punched into this boot here on the cab, so I'm going to use that for the antenna access. There we go, looking good so far. Moving under the dash, I'll grab the cable and fish it through all the way to the radio. I'm going to remove the lower side trim panel to get the cable under the carpet. Luckily this truck has a hole here for the power seats, so I'll just use that for my antenna and power wires as well. Looks good. While I'm inside the cab still, I'll start running the power and ground connections. I'll need to remove this trim panel to access the back of the cigarette lighter here, next to the steering column. This lighter is a key on power only, so that'll ensure I can't leave the radio on when I get out or overnight. Now I can tap into the power and ground for the lighter. The harness I'm using on the radio has its own fuse, so each circuit will still be protected. Alright, time for my favorite part. Let's do some soldering. Wires secure, let's put the panel back on. I fished the new harness extensions through the underside of the dash so I could get it back over to that trim panel and run the cable underneath the carpet again. Let's test it out. Key on, and we have power. Awesome, now let's secure the antenna cable to the lower side of the chassis. I'll just run it down the driver's side frame rail and zip tie it to some original harnesses. I was getting concerned about how long my cable was, but look at this. 
right on the money. Can't get any better than that. Okay, so in order to mount the antenna correctly, there's a particular order to these parts for the antenna mount. First, start with this cable end. That'll go through the bracket first. Then this nylon washer that has a step on it so it centers and isolates the antenna. Then the washer, lock washer, and antenna union thread. The antenna will thread here. This is the nylon washer. It's hard to tell on the video, but one side has a raised edge that needs to go through the hole on the bracket. Make sure it's nice and tight so your antenna doesn't fall off. So here's the antenna mounted to the new bracket. Yes, I know it's not straight up and down, but I'm gonna give this a try and see if it's good enough for what I need. It might not make the signal for super long transmissions, but I just wanna hear the local truck traffic. That's about it. One other thing about this mount. Yes, it works for mounting an antenna with the bed cover, but the folding aspect of the cover has been compromised. I won't be able to fold it all the way with the antenna, but that's okay. I rarely do that anyway. I'll just need to remove and install the cover with the last third open. A little inconvenience here, but again, this is just a proof of concept. I can try to change it later if it really starts to bother me. So after driving around like this for a week or so, I've decided to modify the mount. Not being able to fold up the cover when I need it is a deal breaker. So what I'm going to do now is make the same style mount, but leave it straight and shorter by about 6 inches. This will leave the antenna closer to the cab and out of the way of the folding cover. And there you have it. Now after installing the antenna you can tell that it's much closer to the cab, a little lower and out of the way of the folding action. With this I can't angle the antenna back as much as I'd like, so I lost some vertical clearance there. However, this is a welcome change with the added functionality of the bed again. I've been driving it like this for a few days now, and as far as the mount goes, it's working great. And the CB comes in loud and clear. Hopefully this will give you some ideas if you're looking to install a CB antenna to your pickup as well. So there you have it. Overall I'm very happy with the outcome of this project. I hope you liked the project. Be sure to leave some comments down there and let me know what I could do to improve it, or whether you like it or not.